Hi, my name is Nicole. And I'm Ryan. And we're Once Upon a Disney Blog. And we are here to bring you the August 2017 Disney Treasures Box unboxing. Yes. Tiny Town. Tiny Town. And the cool thing is that they actually have the, uh, well they're not stickers, but they have like the previous boxes on here as well. As if it's a trunk that's traveling around. I think that's kind of neat. Yeah. Anyway, nice. let's get inside this box. So, first of all, we always do pin and patch. So, patch first. Alright, so the patch for this one is Dot from A Bug's Life. That's cute. Yeah. And the pin features Gus Gus from Cinderella. And that one's interesting because it's sideways instead of... Yeah, it's, it's, a, long, it's a long pin. Yeah. It's horizontal instead of vertical. Yes. Right. So the pop, the pop which for this was box, the spoiler, yeah, which is Tinker Bell, and this is the second Tinker Bell, I believe. Yes. So, um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, this one's cool because it's got kind of like a stand type thing in the back, and then the little wand. Like, I think the other one was just kind of straightforward. Yeah, the other one she's standing, but this one is supposed to be set up like she's flying. Yeah. So, kind of That's more cool. reminiscent of the Tinkerbell at the end of the fireworks at the parks where she flies down. Yeah. So, it's kind of neat. And then, speaking of the Disney parks, our next item is... This Dorb's Ride. Or, sorry, Dorb's Rides with yeah. a Z. Yeah. And it features Mexico and Holland in the Small World boat. So, yes. Yeah, pretty much all I yeah. have to say about that. <laughs> yeah. um, so now, which is kind of one of my favorite parts of the boxes so far, has been the mystery minis. So for this one, here's the design for the box, which you can already tell is going to be something Pinocchio related, which is cool. So inside, we have. Little Jiminy Cricket. And I really like the design of these. Yeah. Um, so far we've gotten Jack Sparrow and Woody from Toy Story. Yeah. And now Jiminy. And it looks like this is something that we're going to get in each box since they've been in each box so far. But yeah. this design on this series is really cute. Yeah. And the little boxes are adorable too. Yeah. These are really cool. And as always, you get a little additional sticker if you want the sticker that's on the box mm -hmm. and they have the map so we've got all the details yes on this and it's actually cool I was looking over it and they have like little uh, trivia uh, uh, points to talk about like how Tinkerbell is based on a woman that worked in the ink and paint department for Disney animation and stuff like that so they got like they started throwing in little Disney trivia I don't know if the other ones oh, had that or not that's but. cool now I just noticed this it shows the patches that yeah. you've received so far with the other boxes. Yep. And then so the back cool. is the map showing us where we're going next. As you can see, we're going to the Haunted Forest, and that is a little bit of a spoiler right there. Yeah, they already released what the pop is going to be for that one, so, so spoiler tell, here. But it's going to be... It's going to be uh, over. Well, we're hoping it's going to be like an oversized Maleficent in dragon form. Yes. It is Maleficent in dragon form, we're which just, I'm really excited for. Yeah, we're just hoping that it's one of the six inch pops. Yeah. Like um, Game of Thrones had a six inch pop dragon. World of Warcraft had a six inch pop dragon. I think Smog from Hobbit was a six inch pop. Yeah. So we're kind of hoping they're going to continue with that. But Maleficent's dragon design is pretty, it's, pretty awesome. Yeah, so. it's the coolest pop, I think so far for the boxes. And then, just by the description, we're thinking something Haunted Mansion oh, related, yes. which I would, I mean, that's kind of an obvious, I would think. I think it's gonna be the mystery mini, might be the Hatbox Ghost, but that's maybe just what I'm hoping for, so. So the little blurb that they give you for October's adventure, it says, when hinges creak in doorless chambers and strange and frightening so sounds echo through the halls, when candlelights flicker, where the air is deathly still, or I totally messed that up, whatever. That is the time when the haunted forest boxes arrive. So here's the part that we thought. So it says, welcome foolish mortals, which if you've been on the haunted mansion yeah. ride, you know that that's 
a line from the ride. To the Haunted Forest, the next step on your Disney Treasures Adventure. So. Yeah, so... And something. we have kind of oh, noticed gosh. that they've been doing something like Disney Parks related in each box. For example, the first box we had the Pirates of the Caribbean um, Dwarves ride. Yeah. With and, the, yeah. Yeah. And then the second box, the Toy Story Mystery Mini, the little bo tin box that came in was made to look like uh, Midway Mania. Yep. And then, of course, we have Small World. Yes. So we're hoping that it makes sense that they would do Haunted Mansion yeah. for the yeah. Haunted Yeah, I'm sure they will. Yeah. So. So, so, review time. Thoughts on the box. Yeah. Um, I don't think... I'll say this is probably the weakest box, but with that being said, I don't think it's terrible. No. Um, I mean, the Tinkerbell Pop, I think, is really cool, and the uh, Jiminy Cricket is cool as well. So, I guess the biggest disappointment is the Dorbs ride. Yeah, I was going to say, um, if you can't tell, yeah. we don't like the Dorbs. Um, and I think that's just a personal preference, too. We just don't like the Dorbs in general. And now we have another Dorbs rides yeah. thing, because we have the Pirates one as well. So it's not something that we really wanted to get into collecting. So Yeah, I mean, and it's, it's a small world. It's fine. It's not one of my favorite rides in the parks. I mean, to me, it's more nostalgic, just from remember going on it as a kid. Yeah. Um, so... I mean, I'm not really blown away by this one. Yeah. The Pirates one was a little cooler just because it's, you know, it's Pirates of the yeah. Caribbean, so. You're a little bit more, I don't know, Pirates is a little bit more popular. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. We, we were talking about, and we have noticed that there's really only three different types of items that we've received in these boxes so far, not kind of like the pin and patch. We've only gotten uh, Funko Pops. Dorbs or the mystery minis. They, like that's yeah. only three types of items that we've gotten and we're not sure why like we haven't gotten a Funko Pop keychain or um, their other like mini figures or wearables. Wearables are noticeably missing from this box and we are boxes in general yeah. and we talked about this in our last unboxing as well but like where are the t-shirts? Yeah I think it's some kind of not I don't know if I'd say rights type of thing, but I think Disney does not want, like, is only allowing them to do so much. I don't yeah. think they want them to do any wearables. That's yeah. just, because why wouldn't you have a shirt? Yeah. So. And they're like, and, but even if, okay, you can't do wearables, um, throw in a rock candy figure or something. I mean, they did the Ooh, Moana one. Cool. So it's not like they haven't done a Disney princess rock candy or whatever. So throw that in, throw in some of your other, like, types. It's just so, it's getting a little bit repetitive. Is my thing. Yeah, I definitely would like a rock candy yeah. one that's exclusive to the box. That'd be really cool. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to be thinking about which one I'd want. Like, obviously, pops. We're here mainly for pops. Yeah. Last box, we got two pops. That was perfect. But if you're not going to give us two pops each box and you're going to give us, like, something else, can we, like, stop with the dorbs? <laughs> <laughs> um, we just want a little bit more variety, especially when you look at the other boxes, like the... The DC box, the Marvel box, and the Star Wars box, they have a lot more variety of the items that they're getting, and we've only gotten three different types of items. And you know what's so. funny? Now that we say that about the Dorbs rides, yeah. watch the next box is going to be the Doom Buggy with the Hitchhiking yeah. Ghost as a Dorbs ride. I mean, it'd be cool, <laughs> but it'd be like, why is it a Dorbs? Yeah. <laughs> like, we'll see, though. Yeah. So. I mean, right. we're always hopeful, so yeah. yeah. I also agree that this is my least favorite of the three boxes so far, but it's still, it's still good. Like, yeah. we still like Tinkerbell. We still like the Mystery Mini. We'll still put the Dorbs ride somewhere. So. Yeah, yeah, I guess, like, the biggest item is just my least favorite yeah. of everything. That's have, always so. disappointing, so. Uh, but. Anyways, so stay tuned for the next uh, unboxing, which will be October. October. And so we'll have the Haunted Forest yeah. rock unboxing in October, so we hope that you check back with us then. Yep. And that's it. So this is Once Upon a Disney Blog signing off. Bye. Bye.